everybody, it's Chris E. It's Wootini from GayGamer.net here with another weekly video podcast. Um, I am still playing Destiny, and I am still enjoying it. Although, I have discovered over the past week that it is much more fun to play with friends than by yourself. Um, because once you've experienced playing through levels with your friends, and it's so much fun, playing through a level by yourself it feels empty somehow. Even though that's how you would normally play a shooter, is by yourself, shooting your way through the level and everything. Um, but it's so much more fun with people. It's also a little easier with people. Um, I, I ended up playing like the last two missions on the moon by myself because I wanted to play, but there was none of my friends were on Xbox Live at the time. So I was like, well, I'll just do it myself. And I had a little trouble with the next to last one, where at the end it was just onslaughts of enemies and I'm getting killed and I died a few times and I was like, you know, it would have really helped if I had somebody else here for backup to take down these guys with me. Um, although the final mission on the moon, I was very proud of myself. I did it by myself and without dying once. So I was very proud of myself for that. Um, and I think that also helped me, you know, boost up my levels enough that for a while I was like well ahead of where I should have the recommended level for the story missions. I was well ahead of it. Uh, now I'm right along with it, so I'm making sure that I make sure that I do these levels with on Mars with uh, a friend who is a higher level that can help me through it. Um, I have been experiencing a few network problems here and there. I don't know if it's my internet, if I should blame Time Warner Cable, or if I should blame Bungie servers. Um, but I have had a few, you know, dropped connections and like right in the middle of a mission and then I've got to like try to reconnect and get back in there and, and it's awkward and a bit rude. Um, but yeah, it's still fun, uh, and more fun with a friend. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about next is, um, there was a new iPhone launch, the iPhone 6 came out. Uh, and the 6 Plus, if you want to go for the really ginormous, oversized phablet thing, which I do not, because, that you know. I mean, this is the first iPhone that I would consider buying, because it finally has a good size screen. Back in the day, I went with Android because, A, it was cheaper <laughs> for me. Um, there were cheaper options than the expensive iPhones, of which you had just expensive, super expensive, or crazy expensive. Um, so I went with Android but also because it was cheaper, but also because the screens were bigger, because I have big Jaboli gorilla hands um, and aging eyes that need a larger screen to see. Uh, so this is actually the first iPhone that I would buy. Um, however, um, I, did, I did take to Twitter to kind of make fun of the people who were lined up at like 6 a.m. outside of Apple stores or Sprint or Verizon or T-Mobile stores or whatever, AT&T, um, to get an iPhone 6 first thing. The smart ones, I know some people who ordered them and the UPS guy delivered them, uh, you know, that day, so they got their phone without having to go stand in the line for hours, which I just don't get it. I mean, okay, get the, I, I get it, you know, but it's a phone. Like, I've stood in line, I mean, now I go to, like, midnight launches and stuff, but, like, 4 Gay Gamer to, like, cover it for the site or something. But there have been a couple of times when I've gone to a midnight launch. Um, like, I stood in line at the Toys R Us in Times Square for hours so that I could be one of the first people to buy a Wii. Um, and that was totally worth it. I do not regret that. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, and helped get me in here at Gay Gamer because I wrote a whole article about it. Um, but I also did it for the PSP which was kind of lame because I had pre-ordered my PSP at GameStop, so I basically went to my GameStop in my neighborhood in Brooklyn at midnight and picked it up, and it was just kind of ridiculous, and I was just like, why did I do this? Why didn't I just go pick it up after work the next day? You know? Because I had work the next day, and I was tired because I had gone out to the stupid line. It wasn't a long line, because it was a small GameStop, but there was one register, so it took forever. Um, but I just feel like... I just... I just can't fathom standing in line for hours for a phone. You know? It's a phone. I mean, I have... I just go and buy my phones. My, my phone I have now, I pre-ordered it, and then I just went to Best Buy after work and said, Hi, I'd like to pick up my phone, please. Thank you. Like, I'm not waiting in line for my Galaxy phone. That's 
weird. It's just a phone. So that, I understand the getting in line mentality, but just not for a phone. But that's just me. Um, uh, and, but the, the, the 6 is the first iPhone I would consider getting because it does have a decent sized screen for the first time. But I can't get it because A, it's super expensive, and I'm on Virgin Mobile, so I have to pay full price for my phones because I only pay $35 a month for my wireless with unlimited data and internet. So I have to pay full price for my phone, and I'm not about to pay like $700 for an iPhone 6. I, they don't even have them yet, but when they do, they're probably going to be like $700 or $800, uh, and I'm not paying that because that's insane. Um, but I also, my phone is fine, so I can't justify buying a new phone because my phone works perfectly fine. And it's only like just over a year old. So maybe in another year or so, I'll want a new phone. Um, because that, that transitions nicely into my 3DS is perfectly fine. It's bad enough that I had to go from a 3DS to a 3DS XL so I could get my Animal Crossing one, but I did want the bigger screen. But now Nintendo is releasing the new 3DS, uh, which was weeks ago, but I haven't had a chance to talk about it yet. So here I am finally talking about the new 3DS. Uh, there's not a whole lot for me to say about it, except, what the hell? Rude. Because my 3DS XL is perfectly fine, I love it, it's great, it works fine, I cannot justify spending more money to buy an improved 3DS. And that's basically what it seems to be. You know, it's not just, oh, here's one with an extra control nub, and a couple extra triggers, um, and the games that are released for it, you'll still be able to play on your current 3DS just with a more awkward control scheme. You know, like some of the games that they released that that worked with the Circle Pad Pro. If you didn't have the Circle Pad Pro, you could still play the game. It just might have a slightly more awkward control scheme than if you had that extra stick to wiggle. Um, but no, this is actually, like, forget about the improved 3D and the head tracking and all that, which is awesome because the 3D is super cool. And I don't know that that's a selling point for most people, it is for me, but most people I know don't actually turn on the 3D on their 3DSs, um, which is why the 2DS was a great option for them. But um, with the new 3DS, it also has a faster processor, so it is technically a better machine. And I'm just irritated by this because now they're going to release games that are exclusive to the new 3DS that I can't play on my 3DS, and I have to buy a new 3DS in order to play those. Thankfully, right now, uh, all they've announced is uh, Xenosaga, which I got for the Wii, and never really, I don't even think I made it halfway through it. It just didn't work for me. I bought it because everybody was raving about it, and then I was like, eh. So that isn't a draw for me. I'm not excited to play Xenosaga on, my, on, my 3D, on a new 3DS, so I'm not going to go buy one for that. So I'm hoping that... They won't start making too many exclusives for the new 3DS for a little while so that I can just keep using my Animal Crossing 3DS XL because obviously I want to use it because it's Animal Crossing. Now I know that they have these plates and everything that you can interchange the plates on the new 3DS so that you can change the design of it, which is actually a really cool idea. And I'm sure that there will be Animal Crossing ones. But I don't want to spend the money on something I don't necessarily need to replace something that works perfectly fine. So I'm really hoping that it's a while before they come out with an exclusive new 3DS title that I need to buy that's going to force me to buy the system to play it. Um, I also just I just feel like it's going to be confusing because they didn't... It, it is kind of a new system, but it's not. It's just an incremental upgrade, you know? As opposed to, like, the Xbox and the PlayStation where they do, like, the little upgrade and they, like, just streamline the hardware inside and then they lower the price a little. It still plays all the same games. This one doesn't, and eventually some kid's going to get a new 3DS game and tell his parents, oh no, I can't play this on my 3DS, I'm sorry, this is for the new 3DS, you know? It's frustrating, but, oh, I'll get one, it's just a matter of when. Hopefully not soon, because uh, I'm good. Um, so, what do you think about the new 3DS? Are you excited to get one, or are you like me and a little frustrated? that they're finally making this system that probably is the system they should have made in the first place. Um, and uh, if you're playing Destiny, let me know, and, uh, we, and on Xbox One, obviously, and uh, we can play together. And I will see you back here next week. Bye!